for the royalty! Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another video. But before I get started with the subject of this video, I want to give a huge shout out to my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks is a company that provides upgrade decals for modern Transformer figures along with reproduction decals for the vintage ones. While visiting Toy Hacks, make sure and check out the Toy Hacks Armory to see their line of Transformers weaponry in multiple colors and toy stages for awesome display backdrops. Each purchase from Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that you can use for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors, so make sure and check out ToyHacks.com and tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is 1997's Beast Wars Mega Class Inferno, and I have to say that I am so happy to have Inferno back in my collection. I had a lot of the Predacons back in the day, and unfortunately, I sold them all back in 2011. And this is one that I really regretted selling because I love Beast Wars and I love the character of Inferno. He is just so awesome in that show. He's just flat out batshit crazy and actually has one of my favorite lines of the entire series. <laughs> Bane is my friend. Allow me to introduce you to it. Now, this Inferno here was a gift to me from subscriber Brian Tester, who sent me two whole boxes full of Beast Wars and Beast Machine figures. And when I opened up the box and saw him on top, I flipped out. I am so happy to have this guy. Brian, thank you so much. And I couldn't wait to get him in front of the camera. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at this awesome Beast Wars figure. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. Now we'll start things off by looking at Inferno in his beast mode, which of course is a fire ant. And... This ant mode looks awesome. Lots of great details, and I absolutely love the head sculpt. You've got the compound eyes right there. You've got the mandibles here. That, if you flip this lever right here, can open and shut. There's also another gimmick to this lever that I'll show off here in a moment. But continuing on, looking at the ant mode, he just looks great. The one problem with him is he doesn't really stand too good. I mean, I've got mine propped up. He's got the robot arms and robot legs that also form the ant legs with these little extensions, but they're fairly loose. It's hard to hold up the weight of the figure. So these extra legs right here in the center, I kind of prop those up underneath the body to hold him up a little better. If you did not do that, he just kind of falls flat and he didn't do it this time so i'm surprised oh there he goes so yeah he'll kind of fall flat due to his own weight but he's still a pretty cool looking ant i like the looks of this guy he's got a lot of translucent plastic but unlike the translucent plastic that we deal with today this seems really solid i don't know why they use the translucent plastic like they did back then but it looks pretty good to be honest Lots of painted details here, once again on the compound eyes. He's got some green markings there and here on his butt. So yeah, a really cool looking ant. Articulation, man, he's got articulation everywhere with the front legs up and down, out and in. There is an elbow bend. The ant leg section here can move in and out. Nothing for the head, though it can move up and down very slightly, but that's due to transformation. The antennas can go forward and back, so you can kind of change the look of him right there. 
These center legs, they can rotate around and move up and down, but that's about it. They're a solid piece of plastic. The back legs, ball joint there, up here at the knee, and they can move right there on the insect leg section as well, but they kind of fold up instead of in. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the articulation. Now for his gimmick in amp mode, he does have a missile launcher and the missiles are his back legs right here. You just pull these at right out like so. And of course that's gonna change up the look of the ant drastically. So what you can do, fold these little sections into the forelegs and just kind of position him like so. So he's still got that ant look. And then you're going to take the leg launcher, go ahead and push this section forward right here, revealing the missile launcher there in his mouth. Make sure that gets lined up right. Snap that in. So now he's got that going on. Push this little lever forward, and you'll have this little section here pop out, and it should fire. And it shoots really hard. I love the spring-loaded weapon for Inferno. Let's see if I can get do that one more time. Yes, that's got some impact right there. So yeah, he loses some of his ant legs or ant look for that, but it works. It's really cool. Now let's go ahead and get Inferno transformed into robot mode. And the first thing you're going to do is take the mandibles here and pull this whole section out from his head. That should have came out with it as well. It's two parts. You've got the launcher that fits right there inside the mandible section. Go ahead and put that to the side. Then what you're going to do, extend the legs out. Go ahead and take the rear section, fold it back like so. Rotate here at the waist. Well, get these down first. You'll take these hip sections, bring these down and connect them together. There's a little tab right there. Now this, I don't know what this plastic is, but it's really solid and durable. And it's kind of hard to get it to connect. So you want to do a lot of pressure, get that to pop in. Now we're going to rotate this around like so. Take this little clear section right here on the ant's back, flip that out, revealing Inferno's head, and then bring the ant head down and around and that'll snap right into place. Go ahead and maneuver these mid legs, center legs around. Put the arms down, rotate the feet right there forward. That's where the missile's attached. Get those rotated around. The butt section here, you're going to take this and just open these up like so. And there we have Inferno in robot mode. He looks pretty good. I mean, he's almost spot on to the way he looked in the television show. Love the head sculpt. He just looks insane. He's got a big toothy grin, the red eyes. I dig it. He looks so cool. And he can actually stand fairly well for such a back heavy figure. He's got this big propeller on his butt. That, actually that's the gimmick in robot mode. Kind of get the legs out of the way. And there's a little button right here that you press, which will cause that to spin. If you remember in the show, that's how he flew around. So that's really, really cool. Now articulation for Inferno, the head's on a ball joint, can look up, down, all around, do a complete 360. Arms out, in, elbow bend. You got the legs forward, back, knee bend, out and in, and a rotation. Now, his firing gimmick also works in robot mode. So you've got this right here. And like I said, it's two parts. So you can do it just like this, where it's pretty much the launcher that we had in insect mode. And there is a little peg right there and unfortunately the peg for the weapon is on the back of the hand and not the front or where he would normally grip a weapon so you would attach this here to the back of the hand like so 
And so there is his launcher weapon. Now, with both sections attached, it kind of looks like his giant gun from the show. And of course, you fire it the exact same way, push forward, and that missile should launch. It's harder to launch out of the head than it is like, oh, there we go. Okay, so you got to make sure the mandibles are out of the way. So there's one option. Now, your other option is to just go ahead and separate these two sections. So you have this weapon right here, which is now like a pincher weapon. You can put that in his right hand, like so. And then just the launcher piece can go here. I never can find the port for these weapons. Can go right there. Now, only one of these launch, and that's this little section right here. It's easier to launch now because you have easier access to that button. Just hit that and off it goes. So now you got Inferno dual wielding. Now, how I like to pose mine is I take the mandible section here and I just plug this back up in the head of the ant. So I think that looks a lot better. And then, of course, take the silver weapon here, put that in his hand. This guy, his ball joints all over the place. He's just flipping and flopping everywhere. Get that butt section opened up. What, what was he called in the show once? Blender butt. So now you got Inferno like so. Take the missile sections, and these actually peg in right there. There's a hole in top of the foot. Peg the missiles in with the little spiky section there facing forward. And now... This is how I like to pose Inferno on my shelf. And I think that just looks badass. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is 1997's Mega Class Beast Wars Inferno with Beast Wars Megatron, fellow Mega Class Predacon Beast Wars Scorponok, and Transmetal 2 Pterosaur. 1997's Transformers Beast Wars Mega Class Inferno is a great Transformers toy. He's loaded with gimmicks, and he's just a ton of fun to play with. Not to mention, this is an iconic character from the Beast Wars television show. So there you go, guys. 1997's Mega Class Beast Wars Inferno. For the royalty! So... Does the 1997 Beast Wars Mega Class Inferno belong in your collection? Well, if you're a Beast Wars collector, absolutely. This guy is fantastic. Plus, it's Inferno. You have to have an Inferno in your collection. This was one of the best characters in the Beast Wars series, and he lasted all three seasons. He was portrayed wonderfully, just totally batshit crazy, the whole Yes, my queen, and for the royalty was just awesome. I mean, I love this guy, and as I said, I am so happy to have him back in my collection. Yeah, he's not perfect. I mean, there's a lot of insect legs that get in the way, and the he's heavy and tends to fall over a lot, but man, he is just so much fun, especially the little blender butt right here. I dig it. This is a great figure, and once again, big shout out to Brian Tester, for sending me this guy. I love him. So yes, you see an Inferno, pick him up. You are not going to be disappointed. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I want to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members because it's support like yours that helps keep this channel going. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hooah!